So today what we're trying to do is we're trying to win a World Series with the oldest lineup to ever do it. Let's get into it. And it goes hand in hand to what we did yesterday because yesterday we tried to win a World Series with the youngest ever lineup. So go check it out. It's right up here. Go give it a click. But today what we're trying to do, the oldest, the opposite side of what we did yesterday. So let's look at it. So the oldest lineup to ever win a World Series was in 1945 with the Detroit Tigers where the average age was 32.4. So our 26 man roster has to have an average age over 32.4. So we'll we'll say what, 30, 33 to be safe. We'll have to have the average age to, above 33. I, I mean, I'll do the math for you guys behind the scenes, but you'll, you'll see. 2001, they had a 31.9 average age for the Diamondbacks. And I think in 2019, when did the Nationals win the World Series? Was that 2019? Let's take a look. Nationals World Series. Let's take a look really quick um that was yeah it was 2019 i believe the average age for their lineup was 30.2 so that i think it was like the most recent like old lineup but we're going to try to beat 32.4 for the average age of a lineup so let's do it what we're going to do is we're just going to close our eyes we're going to pick a team in three two one boom we're going to be were we the rockies yesterday in yesterday's video let's i, I feel like i've done the rockies a couple times recently so let's let's be the cardinals i guess that works gm contracts off fantasy draft on ignore budgets on and then we'll do this as well so we have 13th pick doesn't matter because i'm going to simulate the draft we took byron buxton who's 28 i mean we could probably make that work we could probably make that work all right so regular season i don't know why i kind of froze there for a second all right so we have to have an average age of above 32.4 Hmm. All right, so pitching wise, it's looking like we're gonna need to be a little bit older. We, we, <laughs> we've got Ryu, but outside of that, no one no one is even above 30. The bullpen, I feel like we're gonna be able to do this pretty well. I feel like this one's gonna be the easiest part because a lot of the relievers that I go for kinda, kinda tend to be around 30 years old anyways. So I feel like that'll kinda bump up the age. And then we're kinda gonna need to figure out every other position. So I'm giving myself a three year window to do this. And it's going to be tough because obviously older players regress a lot quicker. So we kind of we kind of need to do it quickly and get this done. So we've got an OK team. We've also got some players that I just don't really like. So I think the big area right now is let's I think we can keep Nola. I think we can keep Ryu for at least a year. I think we need to go and get a little bit older on the pitching front. So who could be someone like Verlander for a season? Is that even a possibility? Or someone like Scherzer? I just don't want that contract. That contract's killer. So like, who could I go out and get that's gonna raise this, this age a little bit? Like a Charlie Morton? I can't even get Charlie Morton here. Okay. Ooh, Chris Bassett's a good one. I like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Bassett's usually good for a season or two. So let's go, let's go with this. We'll get Chris Bassett into the team. I like that, perfect. So that, that, that looks pretty good right there. And then I think we get rid of Nate Pearson and just try to find like someone that like someone like a Dallas Keuchel, but better than Dallas Keuchel, something like that. So what? Maybe like a Maeda or a Miles Michael, maybe a Kyle Hendricks instead. I can get Kyle Hendricks. It's just these big contracts, man. Those are killer. I don't know who to get. I really don't. Um, I guess an easier way to do it is this. Let's go player search, starter minimum age let's let's just go over 32 because i feel like that's a that's going to be a little bit easier for us so let's go with what's he of all these contracts 17 and it expires at the end of the year or what's sunny gray's 10 let's let's see what we can get for sunny gray or if we can even get sunny gray okay so we have that what about i give up hayward i know he he, he also does kind of help us what about kepler i don't I don't really want Kepler. Man, that doesn't even get us Kep. Holy cow, that doesn't even get us Sunny Gray. Oh, that's not good, like at all. Um, I'll, I'll throw Kepler into the deal and then we can probably just throw in like him and get Sunny Gray. That's a lot for Sunny Gray, but I feel like right there should be good. Relievers, maybe get rid of Bigford and let's just kind of keep some of the older relievers just because some of them actually do really well. So we might as well hold on to them and just kind of let them I don't want to say coast because that's not the right word I'm looking for, but like, you know, like they, they kind of just hold their ratings for a couple seasons and do really well. So that's kind of what I'm looking for them to do. Let's just throw in like a him. All right, cool. We got another reliever in and let's see here. So Bassett, Sonny Gray, he can jump up a couple spots, go something like this. And then 
I'll, I'll just remove one of the relievers. Um, I, it'll probably, ooh, we're, we're gonna need a long reliever. But, so probably Hendrix is going down just to kind of keep that age up a little bit higher. We might even have to get a little bit older, which is crazy. Ooh, boy, okay. Oh, boy. Like, I think Verdugo's gotta go. I think he's just a little bit too young. I'm, I'm kind of looking for like 27 and above. I think that's kind of like a safe spot where we can kind of average everything out. And then that way we can do well. But like, who's an older, I don't even, any a, any any position, just kind of like a little bit older. Let's see, a lot of pitchers, I'm noticing that. So what about position player? Freddie Freeman, ooh, Freddie Freeman. That's a good one, that's a good one. All right, let's just, let's just kind of go by posi positions now. So catcher, I don't even know who we have on our team. Grandal, we got Stallings. I mean, no one that I really want for catcher, first base. Maybe Rizzo? Eh, maybe? <laughs> this is kind of tough. Oh, man, this is tough. This is tough indeed. Okay. Jordan Escobar for a season might not be bad. Ooh, what's Justin Turner's contract? 17 mil? I don't know if I want that. All right, let me let me go through this a little bit more. Let me see what I can do. All right, so I'm going to trade Hayward, and I'm going to bring in Nimmo. One, the contract is for two years. I'm probably going to end up re-signing Nimmo, but at least... Kind of gives us another outfielder that I, I did need. I did need indeed. So I think I think I want a younger outfielder, but I want to get someone that's a little bit better than Verdugo. I wanted to also look if we're like lefty heavy or righty heavy. I also signed out with pool holes because that's gonna that's gonna bring up the age a little bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's why that's why I did it. So um oh Urias. I don't like Urias. I think maybe we keep Verdugo and instead we get rid of Urias. I think we can get a different third baseman. We could also rock with Mustakis and then maybe instead get a new second baseman. Is there an old? I have a feeling I can probably get an older third baseman unless I get like maybe Altuve. Altuve is not bad. Um, budget wise, could be an issue. Contract for Ramirez. Ooh, we could get. I don't want Josh Donaldson. Ah, ooh, maybe J Ram. Maybe J Ram. That or I don't. I mean, it would have to be probably someone like maybe Altuve. I think Altuve would work. It's just, that's a kind of a big contract. So like, I'm kind of thinking maybe J-Ram. Isn't his, isn't J-Ram's contract even less than what? Let's see, 17, 17. And it, towards the end, it gets a little bit bigger. I might not even have anybody that I can make this trade possible with. Yeah, I don't. Mm, actually, I probably do, but let's just go for, I mean, I could get Justin Turner, but that seems like, just not the smartest move. I should probably try to get someone I can hold for like a season or two. So maybe, maybe Bregman? Hmm. Let's let's try Alex Bregman. Let's try Alex Bregman. All right. I'm, that might be that might be good enough to get the job done. And then maybe just flip those two. Maybe lower him a little bit in the lineup. Maybe like I don't I don't know who goes up here. Oh, I still have Baez. Oh oh oh. All right, let me, let me see where we're at because I'm also going to need to call up or sign a couple more players. So let me let me just do that right now. We've got, got him. Maybe like Scott Kingery can come up. That'll bump up the age a little bit more. And then that's 26. So all right, let me see what our average age is right now because I might need to change things up a little bit. Oh, I need a long reliever. Let me do that too. So let's go with, I guess, him. And then we'll send down, I think we said we were going to send down Hendrix. All right, let me see what the average age is right now. All right, we're currently at 30.7. So we're actually quite a bit off. So I think uh, we could probably get rid of an extra uh, extra pitcher. So I might package like two for one. And then lineup wise, like keep Baez. I think we could probably trade Baez for like another shortstop that hits a little bit better. And then I probably need to get rid of Tyler Stevenson and get a little bit of an older catcher. And then that sh that should be okay. I'm not saying I'm, I'm probably gonna try to get like a, a similar shortstop in terms of age. I, I guess it's gonna have to be a little bit older, huh? Mm, who's an older catcher that does well? I mean, this this will bump up the age quite a bit. It's just I don't have the money for Gondal, so I guess I could throw in Baez. Wow, that really doesn't do anything. Who do they have? Man, they really don't have anybody. Okay, so. Maybe no Grandal. Maybe instead we go with... I was going to get Narvaez. So I guess we go Narvaez. Where is he? Let's go Narvaez because I can get him straight up for Tyler Stevenson. What do they have at shortstop? Who's my backup shortstop? Kingery? I guess we're going to take Simmons. And 
I guess we could take a, a reliever and then give them... Do we have, like, a, a younger reliever that we're not using? Like... Oh, wait, do they have a, an older starting pitcher I could use? Like Jordan Lyles for a season or Michael Walker for a season? I don't really like it, but I don't want Patrick Corbin either. They don't, they don't really have an older... I don't want Dylan Betances. I'm going to be honest, I don't. Do they have a, an older position player? Like Donovan Solano is like perfect. That works out perfectly. I don't really want to get rid of my catcher like that. But I mean, that's going to be something I have to do. And then shortstop older shortstops that like might hold their rating nick ahmed are we serious escobar no Elvis andrews no thank you we got diaz so i guess just try to find someone similar age and then we'll just get older to the other positions who is about the same age bogarts okay i'm oh i'm in on bogarts because i know bogarts rakes so how are we gonna do this because i need to, i need to shed some contract too for the future what if i give him killian because i know we've been using him a lot and i'm not going to use him and then is there anybody else that'll get this get this done like, or even close to getting done come on there's got to be somebody here who's going to get the deal done nobody okay so i can't get bogarts that's unfortunate or seager but the, the money man the money's a big issue atis is too young way too young he's going to He's going to bump it up a lot, or he's going to lower the age a lot. So maybe I want Correa. That contract's too big. There really is Swanson. I don't want Swanson. Um, Lindor's contract's too big. I guess Tim Anderson for a season. I just know Tim Anderson doesn't do well. And there's nothing against Tim Anderson. It's just like, it just doesn't do well. Maybe JP Crawford doesn't really get us that, doesn't get us older. If anything, he gets us younger. Hmm. Do they have like a older pitcher I could take? Uh, Michaelis. I don't want Michaelis' contract, though. I guess Hendricks? And then we throw in Luke Weaver? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, right? Or is he our long reliever? No, Alex Young is. So, I guess we could do this. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. Let's, let's keep the pitcher, and then we'll throw in Luke Weaver. And I guess that's I guess that's the trade. I guess. I guess. All right, we'll pick up Andrew Chafin for Alex Young, Trevor Rosenthal, and Michael Givens. So there's that. And then what I'm going to do here is we're going to call up Mark Melanson because he's 37 years old. And you're probably thinking I'm sabotaging my team. I I honestly think we're, we're pretty good here. And then I might send down Wick for now. Or maybe Alvarez. Let's see here. Um, We'll send down Alvarez for now. No, we won't. We'll keep him up because he's older. We'll send down Wick. And then I need to call up a position player, which I might... I don't want Adam Eaton. I'll just sign somebody who is out here. Robinson Cano for a season. Honestly, might be okay. He might. He might actually be okay. He might. Um. So let's get him into the team. Call him up. Do I still have another spot open? No way. What? Oh, my long reliever. Um. I just traded him on accident. Like not even thinking about it. So I'm really gonna have to rock with Senzatella, unless. We go with Rich Hill. Do I do I do it and just kind of see where we're at at the end of, at the end of the year? I mean, this this could end up being like crazy good or crazy bad. It's gonna be one of those things. So let's 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 see here. Are, are we old enough? That's kind of where I'm at. Okay, so we're exact. We're actually at 32.4, which is the same as what the Tigers had. So what I was thinking is, I've actually seen Verdugo do pretty poorly. And what I'm thinking is if we just get someone that's at least a little bit older than him, so 26, 27, we should be perfectly fine. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, I'm going to see if we need a righty or a lefty in the lineup right now, because these guys are going to be the bench. These guys are starting. So could, oh, we need a righty for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a, we need a righty for sure. So what I'm thinking here is maybe a righty outfielder or... Yeah, yeah, I mean, I could probably use a righty infielder too, but let's see. Ooh, Chris Taylor might not be a bad one. Chris Taylor might not be a bad one. Also, we don't have a lot of money. That's another thing I gotta I gotta keep in mind because that could, that could come back to haunt us. So maybe Austin Meadows, maybe Kyle Schwarber. I've seen Kyle Schwarber do really, really well. Um, ben Attendee's this a little bit older. I just don't. I need a righty, though. That's the thing. I need a righty. Oh, Clint Frazier. We know Clint Frazier does well. And it's cheaper. And then also what I could do here is then maybe like pick up a 
a reliever that might hold his rating moving forward or a, a pitcher that I, I did, did just trade to them. Any any position, realistically, maybe like a 27, 28 year old, maybe someone like a Michael Rousseau who I can maybe hold on to for next year. I'm, uh, that, that might not be too bad. Then we'll have him for next year and then we'll do that. All right. that That's not too bad. I, I don't like it, but it, it's not too bad. Oh, how old is he? Rousseau's 28. So let me do this. And then I know already we're we're good. So let's go with like, oh man, this team's gonna hit for such a poor average. I already know it. Okay, I think I think that's what we gotta we gotta rock with. I mean, Mustakis maybe is the DH, but we got Aguilar there. So I I guess this is our team. I don't like it. I think we're gonna do really really badly. I really do. I think we're gonna do so poorly. But um, yeah yeah that's that's the team. That's the team. And then let me show you the pitching. I mean, 32.4 is actually a lot older than I thought. It was going to, like, it, a lot harder. This is actually harder than the, the youngsters. Um, the youngest team ever. So, yeah, this is the team. Let's do it. All right, so I'm at the deadline. I'm going to get a little bit older in the bullpen. And I'm trying to see. Actually, let me just see, like, how old I can get in the bullpen. Let's let's, let's get out there. Let's go, like, 34. Is that the oldest? No, 35. About 36. David Price. How are we doing? Really well. I don't really need a lefty though, and I also don't want that contract. So, is there anybody that I can get that's doing well? I mean, it's really just David Price, so maybe 35. Chris Martin's got a zero ERA. I'll take a chance. I'll take a chance. I was gonna trade him uh, Jose Alvarez because he's doing poorly, and then what I'll do is I'll throw in like I don't know Sky Bolt. I don't even. I'm not even using him. I actually took him off the the 40 man. We'll throw him in. Chris Martin's in the team, and then there was also someone who was struggling chafing but if i take out chafing i really need a bullpen arm is there someone that's struggling in the rotation ryu but i want to keep him in because he's older and i, I need those older guys because right now i have a 32.5 and that's only 0.1 above the actual age of what the like tigers had for the oldest so i want to get a little bit older and i'm like man who do i get rid of do i get rid of buxton I guess I could get rid of Buxton and get a new center fielder that's a little bit older. Who? <laughs> Who? Um, Trout? Can I even afford Trout? I can't. I I can though. Oh wow, I can get Trout. Oh okay. So with that in mind, that means I could really get anybody. Um, but the thing is, like, I want them to be a little bit older, so I could get Springer. What is that? Two years? I guess we're getting Trout, which is wild. Which I would assume would wrap up our World Series hopes. <laughs> No, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you why in a sec. Um, I can get like really older here. Um, is there a short? Do they have a shortstop? Oh, okay, they have Baez. Hmm. How's Suarez doing? Really well. Okay, I might be able to work this. I might be able to work this. Okay, so we're already we're already getting older because Jacoby Jones isn't on the MLB roster. How is he's doing well? Solano's 34. I'm trying to think of like somebody else that's like on the MLB roster. It's a little bit younger. Aguilar's 31. I mean, JP Crawford's the only one, but then I would have to play Suarez at short. Do I really want to do that? Mm. I mean, we're, we're getting older right here. So I guess I just got to throw somebody that's on the MLB roster who like that I'm not using. But everybody, I, I kind of am using everybody and the, the players on the bench are a little bit older. So like, it doesn't make sense to... Ooh, this is tough. This is tough. This is tough. Um, I guess we just get Trout. And I just have to throw in Jacoby Jones so we can afford it. it pff, okay, that's fine. All right, so as you can see, 71 and 35. Like, that's why I'm not, like, stressing too much. Like, we've, we've got a really good team. And I think adding an older Trout and then an older Chris Martin than what we already had. I think, okay, we're we're above the age. We're doing it pretty well. And, I mean, we might as well finish off the, <laughs> the rest of the sim and see how we do. All right, so 104 and 58. Clearly, we've got a good team. And, I mean, let's... Let's kind of see where we rank. Um, second, batting average. We actually tied for first. Okay, that's good. What about runs? Second for runs. So the Astros look like they've got a, they got Bogarts and Jose Ramirez. Uh, that, that's pretty good right off the rip. I see Acuna with the Rangers. I see Tatis with the Guardians. Trevor Story with Stanton and Judge with the, with the Brewers. We had the most hits. We had... We were in the in the range for triples. What about doubles? We were up there top 10 home runs. We were sixth runs batted in. We were second. So like clearly the Astros got a squad. What do they have? Like who's in their team that's making them so deadly? So Matt Duffy, we all, we all know he's the best franchise player in the game. Oh, 
Winker, Bogart, Springer, J Ram, Brandon Lau. That, that's a good team. That's a really good team. What about their pitching? I want to know that. What do they have? Pretty bad pitching. <laughs> good, good, like closeout situation with uh Williams, Devin Williams, Crochet, and uh, like Pierce Johnson, but like, wow, their starting pitching is bad. Okay. So now league leaders, Sonny Gray was great. Mike Trout, unbelievable, which you'd kind of expect from Mike Trout. Awards. Got the Hank Aaron Award and a Silver Slugger. Okay, Sonny Gray was in the mix for MVP. Zach Wheeler ends up winning it, though. And then Chris Sale on the other side wins it. Cy Young, obviously, we just talked about the two that won it. Mike Trout and Kyle Tucker are your batting title winners. Trinan and Duffy are your relievers of the year. The Rogers brothers also in the mix. Rookie of the year goes to Josh Young and also Seiya Suzuki. All right, let me make sure. Yeah, this got messed up. Let me change it. All right, so the current average age of the team is 33.4 which honestly okay we actually went pretty but almost yeah, a whole eight like a whole year over what the the tigers did so rich hill he got roughed up a little bit kind of understandable i mean oh wow they did him dirty with that photo huh wow it looks like he hasn't slept in days good lord we've got chris stratton here who was solid like to see it chafin definitely turned it around you know chris martin was great Melanson at 37 years old, he looked good. I mean, solid. Cole Solzer, and then of course Taylor Rogers. What do we got for the pitching? Nola, outstanding. We got Hendricks, solid number two. Sonny Gray, solid number three. Solid number four for Bassett. And then Rio, you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Lineup wise, Cano, yeah, I mean, yeah, he struggled. He struggled for sure. Uh, Jan Gomes, backup catcher. We've got Mustakis, who, meh. And then Tommy Pham off the bench, not too bad. And then Adam Eaton got called up for who? Who am I missing here? There's somebody that I'm missing. Who Who got sent down? Was it Michael Brousseau? It was Pujols. Pujols. So if anything, we're actually older than what I just put because I calculated it with Eaton in. So with Pujols in, we're definitely a lot older. I'm going to take out Adam Eaton because, yeah, I, I didn't even see that Pujols got taken off the squad so with that in mind yeah we're we're actually older than what i just averaged out to because pool is older than adam eaton but let's talk about the team lineup brandon nimmo leadoff guy just what i needed solano off the bench was actually not bad we've got trout who was unbelievable by the way absolutely insane actually brandon bell have a season bregman was a solid pickup too you've got jp crawford who i think was pretty good Aguilar was solid. Really good, actually. I mean, look at the numbers. I mean, Clint Frazier. I think I have to get Clint Frazier in every rebuild going forward. The dude's just too good in this roster. Narvaez was solid. And then back to Nimmo. So we should be good moving forward. So yeah. Postseason time. Who are we taking on? The Cubs. Let's take a look at their lineup. All right, Cubs. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? It's it's decent. It, it definitely is decent. I, I think this is a team we should beat, though. Like, we, we definitely should. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Mets time. We can go like this. Hendrix here. Sonny Gray and then Bassett. Right? Right? So this will be Aaron Nola. Yeah, that's right. I'm not gonna lie, those those old school like St. Louis Cardinals with the cream. Nasty, by the way. I like those. So let's take a look at the Mets. Let's see what we got here. Adu Segura. That I mean that's that that's a strong team. Luis Castillo, Gosman. Holy cow. Patrick Corbin, McGill, Duffy. Oh, that bullpen's nasty too. Wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. This is a, this is a tough matchup. Oh. Oh. Okay. Maybe not. We're gonna be taking on the Astros. We've seen the Astros lineup. We know it's stacked. Are we set up for Nola? All right. We're we're set up the way it needs to be. We lose. We win. We win. We win. We're one game away from a World Series title. Can we close it out? And then on top of that. Let's rock the baby blues. I'm rocking the baby blues for sure. I think I think the even though I'm a Cubs fan, I got to give credit to the Cardinals. They do got some nasty uniforms. I'll give them that. They are clean. Bases loaded. Bregman's up. There we go. Another two runs and then a three run home run. A six spot. This was the downfall with the Astros. We saw it. Their pitching was weak. It's just they've got the offense to really just to, to play with us. So like we've we've got we've got a good game ahead of us. Like it. <laughs> Like I said, it's six to three. Okay, six to five, six to six. You see what I mean? Like their offense is right up there with ours. We were one and two for like every single category. The big thing was I think our pitching's better, but clearly 
you know, it's uh, looking a little rough. I'm going to leave Nola out there. I might take him out now. But a single to start it off with Trout. First and second. Runner was thrown out. But JP Crawford brings in one. Let's get a little... Oh. Oh. Fielder's choice and then a pop-up. So we only get one out of that. Uh, all right. It's five innings. That might, that might be it. Uh, the fact that I stuck with Nola that long... Probably not the best. Let's go with Chafin. A single, a fly out, a strike out. And then Matt Duffy, a single. But with Winker up, I feel comfortable with the lefty there. So that's good. Ground out, single, strike out, strike out. All right, let's go to... We got righty, righty, switch. Ooh, let's... Maybe maybe Martin here. A single, caught stealing. That's big. Fly out. And then let's... Pitching change. Let's go to the lefty, Rich Hill. Stolen base. Come on. All right, we get out of it though. A good walk. A second walk. Back to back walks. Come on, we got to we got to score here. Okay. All right, Solzer, shut it down here. No tie ball game, dude. Oh boy. All right, Aguilar. I need the sack fly. He brings it in. And this might be it. This might be it. I just need I need Taylor Rogers to be on one. I need him to be on one. There it is. Cardinals win the World Series 8-7 against the Astros. And the awards are Nimmo World Series MVP and Playoff MVP. I mean, those are good numbers. Those are those are really good numbers. Aguilar had a great postseason. Trout had a good postseason. And let's take a look at the team as a whole. Sonny Gray. Eh. You know, Chris. Wow. Chris Bassett. Wow. Rio was good in his outing. Nola got roughed up in that last outing for sure. Same thing with Hendricks. You saw his numbers. The bullpen. Chris Martin struggled a little bit, but everybody else. I mean, I'm happy with those numbers. And then let's take a look. Nimmo was great. Solano. Trout. Bell. I mean, look look at that. Frazier was really the only one that like had a bad, a bad outing. Like, and whoo. The oldies are better than the youngsters, it looks like. One season, one season, and they got it done. A World Series with the oldest lineup to ever do it. There it is, the oldest rebuild. There we go. Beating the Detroit Tigers in 1945 by a whole age, whole age, a whole year, I should say. We had 33.4, and then we had to add pool holes on, so it's probably like 33. Well, it might even be up to 34. Either way, we did it. There we go. We did it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And of course, in the comment section, get involved. That's about it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. Did you enjoy today's video? If you did, I've got another one for you right here. Boom. Right there. Check it out. It's going to be great. Recommend this one.